Hello everybody, welcome back to more Spy Fox Free Operation Ozone. So, last episode was a bit of a long one because I goofed around a whole bunch, but we've rescued Plato Pushpin and now we have the main quest of the game. We've got to collect all the ingredients for his congeal pill. We need the gummy chickle from the jungle, we need a pearl, we need the number of the actual like aerosol spray space station, and we also need to get a pizza with a prickly pear on it because, um, reasons. Anyhow, we're back here in the spy, <laughs> the mobile command center, and uh, we got a vending machine that is filled with spy gadgets that are just dying to be taken. So let's let's start start looking at them one at a time. The spy pearl detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Seems like it's in the name. Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great. There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. Oh, yes. I agree. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. Nothing wrong with a little snack. Well, since one of our, the ingredients we need to get is a pearl, it seems stands to reason we're probably going to need that. I think that's a bit of a safe bet right there. What is this? The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It can be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? Yes, I guess you could say that. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. Well, that's because it was written on paper. All right, well, maybe we'll save that one for later. The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh and breath. I don't know. It's really a glow-in-the-dark spy mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, quack. Or alternatively, you could just get a glow necklace. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. What's this gadget that's, that Quack had to make could be accomplished the exact same way by just a glow necklace that Freddy Fish dug out of the uh, the uh, claw machine. What is this? The sticky stun bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. For weeks? These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. For weeks? What kind of a bun is that? Well, we definitely gotta get that. That sounds delicious. And also, genuinely really good. Mmm... <laughs> cinnamon rolls... Yes, please. Big fan of that one. The Duck Blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the Duck Blind on like a hat, and it renders you invisible to all ducks. What? <laughs> I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Quack, you are a duck. How the heck did you even make this? Oh, we definitely gotta get it. That's the weirdest spy gadget yet. And it's not even close. <laughs> so, like, if we put this on right here, will you not even see us? Professor Quack, how do I look? Spy Fox, where are you? That's funny every time. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of questions on that, but we'll just ignore that for now. The grappling granny. Ooh. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. <laughs> That's also a weird one. What? <laughs> hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. <laughs> it's like a, a, a grandma grappling hook. That's so weird. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> I wish you could carry more than four spy gadgets at a time. 
because there's actually a lot of gadgets in this, and we need most of them. So, hmm. The Spy Rustbuster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. That reminds me of an item that you would get in Earthbound. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. Like, I feel like that's an item that Jeff repairs in Earthbound. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. Couldn't you just get some moon shoes? These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. I'm pretty sure Arthur has a pair you can borrow. The spy ear. I told that you, there's so many spy gadgets in this. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. That is your lunch. Doggone it, I won them all, but I can't have them all, so uh, it's unfortunate. Pushpin. Why did you go to work for Poodles Galore in the first place? I was wooed by all this stock options and free pop. Wow, you got free pop. <laughs> you know, maybe Poodles Galore knows how to treat her employees right. Until they rebel against her and then she tries to kill them in a bowling game. <laughs> Alright, well, new episode, new songs. It's time to play some Moon Baker. catchy one. R9. Mission implausible. Alright, interesting country song. Well, oh hey, it actually keeps playing if you leave the jukebox area. That's actually really cool. I love that. I think if you leave the building or go to the mobile command center, though, it'll stop. Yep. Oh hey, there's people here. And our Uber has arrived. Must have fixed the Trans Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. <laughs> oh my, my gosh! My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's cosmetics factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. Looks like he finally get, actually managed to get out of the medicine cabinet back in Scotland. Good for him. Well, now things are open, and apparently, because, again, because Mobile Command Center is now, like, in the sky. Quack apparently finished work on our car and just kicked it out. Thank goodness we have... <laughs> thank goodness it's immune to fall damage. Uh, let's check out the pizza place. Cookies. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Free pizza today? You you ain't gonna make money that way. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. 
Well, good for you. My name's Pia the Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. Interesting. Well, good luck to you, Pia. Or, as they say in the biz, break a leg. Thank you. This is one <laughs> groovy 80s diner right here. Wow. I love the neon. <laughs> hey, no, 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 Spot. <laughs> That's the pizza for display only. If you want to get free pizza, you have to order it. So what are the options? Sea cheese special. No thanks. I'll stick to pancakes. <laughs> oh yeah, Spy Fox loves him some pancakes. Sea cheese special. Well, that's what the sea monster would like from Freddy Fish 5, but not this one. Pork rind soul pizza. I'm sure it's good for the soul, but I think I'll pass on it. I feel like that one just looks like a generic pepperoni pizza just with pork rinds instead of pepperoni. I, that would probably actually be decent. The others will seem meh. Lentil lover surprise. No thanks. I'm not hungry. Yeah, good call. Waffle in white sauce pizza. I don't care if it is free today. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> oh, so understated, Spybox. I love it. Yeah, okay. If... if if a menu item has white sauce in the name, that's an automatic no for me. Not a fan of white sauce, and the fact that they don't tell you what it is means that they're probably hiding something there. It's like when you go to like a slightly bougie restaurant and they're like, oh yeah, like it's like the like sirloin steak served with root vegetable mash. It's like, I don't know what root vegetables you use, but I just know it's not potatoes. Because if it was potatoes, you would have said with mashed potatoes. But no, they have to be with bougie. Oh, it's mashed parsnip. But nobody would actually want to eat that. So they just call it root vegetable mash to try and hide it. It's, yeah, why would you do that? Just give me my steak and mashed potatoes. That's what I want. That's what I came here to order. Anyhow, rant over. Let's get the pizza. PM, I'm in desperate need of one of your prickly pear pizzas. I'm afraid the shop was burglarized last night, and you'll never guess what they took. Well, the way things are going, I guess all your prickly pears. That's right. And the only clue they left behind was a torn piece of pink cloth. But if you brought me a prickly pear, be I'd be champ. happy to make you They're a pizza wearing pink with it. Bowling suits. I can use this talk balloon to gather information on where to find a prickly pear. Cool. Well, don't that just suck. And on free pizza day, too. Bummer. What else can you tell me about prickly pears? Nothing other than that they grow in the desert. The desert, hmm? Interesting. <laughs> I still don't know, geographically speaking, where we are right now. It's just the middle of nowhere. Maybe there's a desert across the street. See ya! Okay, you said there were cookies over here? Yes, please. He's just ignoring her. Hello, my name is Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to save... My name is Cookie! I'm a Cookie Scout! You know, Cookie, I remember back when I was a Spy Scout selling decoder rings. This isn't going to be one of those back in my day a cheeseburger was a nickel stories, is it? Er, uh, no, of course not. Never mind. <laughs> Way to just shut him down. <laughs> Spy Fox, you sold decoder rings. I, I want that spinoff game. Do you like being a Cookie Scout, Cookie? Yes, it's fun, but I wish we didn't have to spend so much time selling cookies, even if it's for charity. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, Cookie. Like I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm guessing most of my style of humor has developed from enjoying these games a little too much, because these are A-plus puns. I bet you must really like cookies to be a cookie scout. I really like the official cookie scout stunt bike I'm gonna get when I sell all my cookies. That's what I like! Okay. That's a great megaphone. Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! What kind of potential customers? Potential cookie buyers! <laughs> Tone it down a little, to Peppa Pig. three more boxes of cookies to get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike. Completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana-style saddle, alligator grips, this thing in the handlebars that tells time! Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? No, I'm a spy. But I tell you what, I'll help you sell your cookies so you can get that bike. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. Thanks, Mr. Spy! Here you go! Wow! Uh, I... <laughs> no problem. Why, I remember with... 
<laughs> what? Um, what? <laughs> okay, I have so much stuff to talk about right now. Uh, one, her voice is basically what I imagine Peppa Pig's voice would be if she wasn't British, but had an American voice instead. Uh, two, Spy Fox, what a guy. He's like, I know I'm on a top secret mission that's literally to save the world that's in desperate Cookie danger, cookies. but, like, I gotta step in to help this kid sell enough cookies to get the bike. <laughs> What a guy. And also, Cookie's just like, yeah, sure. Here's some free cookies. Give me them. Sell them and give me the money involved. So what kind of cookies do we get? Interesting, but I don't think that will do me any good. Right, okay, maybe Cookie will know. What kind of cookies are these? Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? What are you kidding? I'm selling, not buying. <laughs> now get out there and find some real cookies. Okay. Wait, if I hover over it, it might tell me. It's a box of luscious lemon listies. Okay. It's a box of honey baked beet biscuits. Beet biscuits? Yuck. It's a box of dill pickle drops. Okay. Get your official Cookie Scout cookies right here, folks. Don't crowd this plenty for everybody. <laughs> all right, all right, kid. Well, I know one guy who's probably going to be interested in the lemon cookies. So naturally, we're going to sell him the pickle ones. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? Sorry, that's not my kind of cookie. All right, maybe Monkey Penny would like some. Boom. Oh, hey, now, now he's using a screwdriver, so you know he's making progress. Quack, here you go. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? Done for me, thanks. I don't want to lose my bowling pin figure. <laughs> Spy Fox, are you selling Girl Scout cookies? No, I'm selling Cookie Scout cookies. You do realize you're on a top speed secret mission to save the world from being destroyed. Yeah, but this kid really wants a bicycle. <laughs> Can I interest you in some honey baked beet biscuits? No, thanks. They might make me sleepy, and I have to stay alert while I'm on a mission. Okay, how, how about you, Play-Doh Pushpin? Now, how about you? You want some dill pickle drops? I bet if you try just one dill pickle drop, you won't be able to stop. There is not a single natural ingredient in those. I wouldn't think of it. <laughs> All right, what, what a snob. <laughs> he thinks he's better than these cookies. Which, I mean, he is, but still. All right. Here you go. This is what we really need. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? Luscious lemon listies. Sure, I'll take a box. It's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of the Cookie Scouts, thanks, sport. You're welcome. <laughs> I think we may have our thumbnail. <laughs> wow. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to Girl Scout cookies, I'm a I'm more of the guy who likes Thin Mints are great. I love the trefoils, which are the shortbreads, and then is it the samosas or I think it's tagalongs that are the peanut butter ones. I always get samosas and tagalongs mixed up. One of them is peanut butter, and then the other one is the coconut. I don't like the coconut. I got a dollar. Here you are. I sold one box of your cookies to a very satisfied customer. Thanks, Mr. Spy! I'm one box closer to my official Cookie Scout bike! It was my pleasure. Anything that... The sooner you sell the rest of those cookies, the sooner I get my bike! So time to waste it! Alright, alright! I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> okay, so if we enter the spy car... So this is pretty cool. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. So it's really cool in Spy Fox Free. You're not just relegated to one geographical area. You actually travel across the world to get all this stuff, which is really awesome. And also, this car is tricked out with a... <laughs> well, an empty soft drink with a fly who just... Uh... Okay. And yeah, it's, it's a cool looking car. So, okay, it looks like this city is somewhere in North America. Where in North America is anybody's guess? Uh, let, let's go to South America. Which is apparently all a jungle. That that's definitely 100% accurate. Ah, the jungle. 
an ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life, home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. Yep, and humid. <laughs> hey, I'm here for two seconds and a rat's making faces at me. That's quicksand. If I'm going to get to the other side, I'm going to have to go over it, not through it. Oh. That branch looks like it comes from the K-pop tree. Trees are made of wood, you know? Yes, I know that. Learned that in Pajama Sam. <laughs> that is the fastest acting Whoa, quicksand ever. That was close. I'm going to need a much more clever way to cross that quicksand. Clever like grandma's hook shot? I think that's what we need. All right, Granny, do your stuff. Gah. It's more disturbing than I remember. <laughs> the grandma, the granny doll shoots its teeth out and there. Yeah. So weird. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, we got an empty tree house up here. Interesting. We also got some hieroglyphics up here as well. A piece of toast, a pencil, hot cocoa, a hot dog, and a baseball. Cool. <laughs> Wonder who put those at the top of that temple. Also, wow, that is a very tall ladder leading up there, if you see how high that temple is. Oh, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a native. Let's talk to her. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying Chickle for my PhD in Gummatology, but some pink clad pranksters locked all of the Chickle inside Chickle P2. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it. Cool. She's got a she's got a nice voice. I like that. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Cool. Hey, while I'm here, miss, would you like to buy a delicious bag of dill pickle drops? Excuse me, would you like to buy some dill pickle drops? <laughs> no, thank you. I prefer something crunchier. Like honey baked beet biscuits? Is it bee biscuits or beet biscuits? If it's beet, that's terrible. Hey, tell me about cacti. Do you happen to know where I could find a prickly pear? You can find prickly pears in the desert. I did research on them as a possible gum flavor. The prickles didn't go over so well. In the desert, well, You can remove eh? the prickles. Prickly pear is delicious. Hard to come by, though, but... Do you know the whereabouts of the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu? I can't say exactly, but I did overhear those pink pranksters say something about an import shop. An import shop? Interesting. Cool. Also, we can push these hieroglyphs if we want. I need to figure out this hieroglyphic code to get into Chickle Pichu. Cucumber, eh? No thanks. So in case you didn't know, you need to push all the hieroglyphs that are marked on the top of the temple. So we have the pencil. Pencil, piece of toast, baseball, hot dog, and the mug of cocoa. That's cool. I, I like these simple little puzzles. They add something to the game. Nice job, Spy Fox. Let's keep it up. I cracked the code. Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Well, it opened then up I half the bars. Get in there and get that chickle. It opened up half the bars. Can't we just squeeze in through? And if we can't, can we like get Paper Mario over here so he can do it? I don't think he's busy. He hasn't made a good game in the last like 20 years. Shots fired. Look, I'm sorry. I like Super Paper Mario. Heck, I even kind of liked Sticker Star, but it wasn't Paper Mario. Anyhow, um, let's head on over to the desert. Hot and dry. It's the desert. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists, such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. 
And it's got some groovy music, apparently. Uh... You look like... <laughs> you look like characters that would appear when Buzzy explores the jungle. <laughs> Alright then. Doopie doopie doop. -doop. Hey! Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's B. B Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, B. I will. Oh yeah, Bee Bear returns again. She needs to be in every Spy Fox game. She's a great character. Do you like being a beekeeper, Bee? I prefer the term apiarist. I love working here. I get all the honey I want and every other Sunday off. <laughs> That's nice. That's a lot of honey you have here, Bee. I use the honey to add flavor to other food. That's because I don't eat anything that's not honey flavored. <laughs> cool. Which means that she's definitely the prime candidate to buy some dill pickle drops. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? No, thanks. I don't eat anything that doesn't have the goodness of honey in it, honey. All right. Well, I got just the thing for you. No, 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 no. I want to... No, no, no. Go back, Spy Fox. <laughs> in your tuxedo pocket. I also like how it's got the expanded pocket now. So instead of just being like, oh, I have them right here... It, you can carry a lot more stuff now, which is cool. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts? The one and only. Of course I'll buy a box. They're so full of honey baked beet goodness. I can't stand it. <laughs> Just keep it there for later, B. <laughs> She's such a great voice, I love it. It says, Bees, Bees. Catchy name. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy, and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. <laughs> She's very agreeable. Thanks, B. <laughs> very cooperative. I love it. She's like, oh, it helps save the world? Yeah, sure. You can have it, honey. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Well, as we all know, all of Africa is definitely a desert, so... <laughs> um, this is, uh... This is fancy. Not what I was expecting in this pristine desert area. Hey, lady. Oh, hey, it's Peppa Pig's mom. Not enough for you. It's not so bad. Now, I used to work in the jungle. Now, that was hot. Why do you have a southern accent in Africa? Uh, it's a little strange. Hey, want to buy some pickle cookies? I bet if you try just one dill pickle drop, you won't be able to stop. No, thank you. Those give me nosebleeds. What? I mean, I get nosebleeds too, but that seems a little strange. Do, 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 do. Cool. Interesting. What if we just give this a little turn? That diverted the water into this calm little reservoir. I'm not sure if we should be doing that, but okay. Wow, that was extremely sudden. It was like pouring down here, and then it's just like, there's nothing here, and now, wow, that was. We turned it like half of a clockwise turn. And it's just like, like, I don't know how that works, but okay. <laughs> I won't complain. <laughs> Am I allowed to go in through here? Hold on there, you. Only beekeepers tend to their bees can go into the prickly pear ranch. Why? How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the prickly pear ranch. Well, conveniently, we just stole it from bee. I mean, borrowed it from bee bear. Boom. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. Which is weird, because she's a bear and you're a fox. But all right. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind that. 
that guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. Indeed. And hey, there's a huge amount of prickly pears here, so let's help ourselves. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. This one should be good on pizza. Yow! I wonder if they de-prickle these before they go on the pizza. I kind of hope so. <laughs> I feel like a prickly pear pizza would be very weird. Because the prickly pears are naturally extremely sweet. But, I don't, I don't know. What do I know? Anyhow, we got the prickly pear so we can give it to the pizza shop owner now. You there! What do you do with that prickly pear? The fate of the world may depend on this prickly pear. That's what they all say. The rules are no prickly pears outside the prickly pear ranch. Rules are rules. It's already picked, so can't I just keep it? Well, thank goodness she didn't see all the other stuff that I have. Like my dill pickle drops and my one dollar bill. If she knew I had a dollar on me, she probably would have, uh, she probably would have taken it. Well, it looks like taking a prickly pear ain't gonna be quite as easy as we expected, huh? And unfortunately, I think that's all the time we have for this episode of Spy Fox Free Operation Ozone. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. Well, we only we have one more geographic region to explore. We gotta go to what looks like a combination of Europe and Asia, which is water-based. So, uh, that'll be interesting. We'll have to see what the scenery there is like and what, what all is there for us to do. So that should be interesting. And we also gotta find some sucker to pawn these pickle cookies off on. Maybe we'll find someone over there that likes it. It maybe it's an acquired taste. And we also still have to explore, uh, explore Poodle's Cosmetics Factory, but that'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Ever had to wait for the dough to rise with Moonbaker? Moonbaker. No need to compete with the effects of gravity with Moonbaker.